Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to read this rejection letter. Mr. Nest. Oh, yeah. While we are grateful to have received your submission, come hell or higher waters, it unfortunately does not fit with our future plans for publication. We commend you on your highly original gonzo approach and encourage you to continue submitting your work to other publications that may be a better fit for your unique voice. Regards, Roger Derrickson, Legends of Astonishment editorial team. Why did you hang this up? He was motivated by spite. I mean, maybe. Big old pile of newspapers. Uh, oh, oh, this is the third door. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, interesting. So it looks like there might be... There were only those two X's yeah, the rest on the were panel. Wiped off. Yeah. Next to it is a sales brochure for the brisk con con condu wave modular conduit array. I guess those are the <laughs> panels that I've been seeing around. It says a benefit of the design is that you can combine panel layouts to direct power to multiple arrays at once. Okay, so you can. You can you can do multiple doors at once. I guess that means you can combine multiple solutions as long as you draw a path that avoids X's from both diagrams. That will probably be important. I'm going to examine these newspapers. Yes. It's a mountain of copies of a newspaper from the 70s, like Ness drove around town buying up every copy he could. The arts section promises an article called It's Happening Last Tuesday. Uh, read it. Yeah. The Chimpton Tipper, August 20th, 1974. It's Happening Last Tuesday. The group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations. A writer here, a hyper-realist painter here, an industrial engineer turned performance artist beside. The latter would be Clara Jones, whose reputation rapidly rose throughout the past year as a holder of revivalist happenings of the highest order, her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. Just last week, the group to which Jones belongs gathered in a disused steel plant beneath a meteor shower to take in her latest work orchestrated with her creative partner, Parker Nest. I wonder if it's like the, uh, whatever the thing we're here to see, the Pleiades? Yeah. That uh, doesn't the, say. Perse the Perseids? Perseids, that's it. All right, well, now we have the door solution. Yeah. So let's go do that. Mm -hmm. Read it and weep, mine weeper. Ha! Ha! That's right there. Oh, that's right. We need to get to the... It was... Okay, I remember. It was up here. Sorry, Gary. Suck a dick, Gary. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, boom. Okay, so we have that's not it. Also not it. I should I be down in the lower left hand corner. You see oh, those yeah, little exclamation marks? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Uh so we need to go Okay. So let's just for argument's sake. So I don't get confused. Uh, yeah, that works. We go up four, and then right one, and then straight up. So one, two, three, four. And let's see if we can get one going in here, too. Okay. That's two. I want one. That's not it. There it is. Okay. Uh... Hillary, why is your theory that the homunculus is Gary? Please explain. Please expound. Well, that won't work. Okay, well, right now we've got door three, so. Uh, I said Gary because Gary, I think, was dead. We ran yeah, we walked past Gary's lifeless corpse. Yeah, so. So screw you, Gary. Sorry. Yeah. I'll save you on one of the loops, I promise. Just not Yeah, that. see, there, there he is. There he is. But as of right now, Gary's inconsequential. Mm hmm Gary serves no purpose. Oh, no! Oh, beans. Okay. 
I see what we have to do. We have to keep two and three open, because we're going to have to go around the steam death trap room. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. Hang on. Mm -hmm. We can go downstairs. No, turn right instead of left. No, go back in there. Go oh. back in. Uh-huh. Well, and then turn immediately right. Yeah, this is door two. It's it's not it's still locked right now. Right. Oh, is it? Oh, wait, no, it is good. Not budging. Wait. Wait, what? It might be passing through uh one of the axes and I don't realize it. Oh, okay. Yeah, see there it is. Mm, okay. Okay. I can I can get two and three open, I just can't do one and three. Yeah. Okay. So let me So I should that won't do it. Huh. Yeah, it'd be sure, sure two, be nice if we could have these side by side. Two and three both go to the same areas. But there is just... I Alright, I think I see. One, two. Yeah, okay. So I wonder if I can go left one up to no. Okay, hold on. Yeah, this, this, all right. Yeah, we got to do some pen and paper on this one. Okay. You know what? I have an idea. I have a phone. I'm going to take a picture of it. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take a picture of this one. Alrighty. And then I'm going to do some clickety clacks and see what I can do some comparisons. This way I don't have to. All right. Okay. So. All right. So can I go up? Up? No. I can't go up. I have to go down. Uh, around to there. Go up. Okay, okay. So let's. We're just gonna. Okay, so um, so I go this way. Uh, that's three over, and I can do this, and then I can go, boom, boom. No, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Hey, will you do me a favor? What's up? Will you pull up um, those photos? Sure, one second. I think I might have. I might have this. Oh, okay. 
I was just digging around for graph paper that I knew I had somewhere. There we go. Got it. Finally. Oh, never mind. Just put this away. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. I I just I was just flipping back and forth on my phone and I got it. <laughs> Alright, well now I gotta figure out Doom Hallway again, so. Yeah. Wait, where are we going in Doom Hallway now? I have to I have to circle all the way around to get back to the downstairs area. Oh. Yeah. That's right. Oh fuck. Because mm -hmm. the one door is locked. Okay. Hey, I think this is the longest we've ever survived. We made it to two o'clock a.m. Yeah, probably. I think I'm about to die anyway. Yep. There I go. Yeah. Oh. I forgot the gas thing. I wasn't. I was like yeah. Jimmy. I wasn't supposed to be like Jimmy. You weren't supposed to be like Jimmy, and yet you were. Oh! Oh! <clears throat> well, Emily, looks like it's your lucky day. I look terrified! She always looks terrified. Huh? We're here. The roadhouse burned down? Does that hot dog say bastard? Is that a bastard it, hot dog? It sure as heck does say bastard. Is that Francine so, in the parking lot? Oh. Uh, Oh, I'm Megan. And Megan. Welcome back to town, Emily. Hey, see the Stussy on the... What? Ah. What'd you say? Uh, if it zooms back out to show us the hot dog again, there's oh. another graffiti that just, like, slammed me back into middle school. I wasn't ex I wasn't expecting felony arson on this trip, and I refused to become an accessory after the fact. That's you. Don't worry. I left a note saying you did it. What happened here? According to my phone, it burned down almost a year ago. The website said it was open. Oh, it's open, all right. I'm gonna go climb on the hot dog. Hell yeah, Gary. Me too. Do not get on the hot dog. Guys, I'm serious. Don't idiots. No, we're we're men. We have to get. We have to do it. You have to do it. Yep. I can't believe I dragged us all the way out here for this. Oh, God. Pete! Pete, where's Pete? Where is Pete? Oh, yeah, there oh. he is, kind of T posing. There he is lurking. Pete, you knew? Why didn't you tell us? Because he never says anything, that's why. That's, that's terrifying. God, somebody is going to get hurt climbing on that hot dog. I just know it. Wait. Why does the hot dog have bastard written on it? I don't know. Why not? <laughs> I'm a bastard! You're not a bastard, Gary. Off the hot dog. We've got a meteor shower going oh, yeah. on. There's a lot of things happening in this scene. Not like anybody ever listens to me. Why should they start now? I think you just gotta let go of what you can't control, Francine. I think you liked me better when I was with you. What? Whoa. What? Um. I feel like there's a lot of intrusive thoughts happening here. Like Emily's yeah. imagining things her friends would never actually yeah. say to her. Did you hear all that, Megan? What did I mess up there? Well, Francine loves a plan. I know I know you and I don't care, but she does. I know, I just don't want her to be stressed out about it. I get that, but still. Maybe not the first thing I would have said to my best friend who I haven't seen in a year. Hell, I guess I really whiff that one. Nah, things are just changing around here faster than we can keep up with. Uh, you know, sure. You want to do the time loop? Yeah, let's see what she substitutes in. Yeah, D just yeah, <laughs> just yeah. It's not like it's a bad thing necessarily. The first thing we, the first time we did this, we didn't need to plan shit. It just happened. The only reason we ended up here was because we thought the giant hot dog was some kind of tourist trap. Which it hey, was. There's the, uh, I just noticed the lawn chair from the bathtub. Yep. Decades before it became a gnarly karaoke joint. 
And then they kicked us out at 2 a.m. Us drunk idiots saw stars streaking across the sky. Amazing. It was pretty magical. Yeah, even Cliff was being just, like, really earnest and positive. For karaoke, he sang that song Sandy, and he did a big, swaggering Springsteen impression. Then, like, 20 minutes later, when it's his turn again, he gets up and does Sandy again, only this time without the impression. How obnoxious. Isn't that song, like, eight minutes long? Sure, but there was something kind of tragically sweet about it. He seemed so earnest the second time. There were tears in his eyes. Even if it was bullshit that he saw himself in the, in the song, it still kind of humanized him for me. Huh. I think I went and hid in the bathroom until it was over. Yikes, a bar bathroom? Was that trade worth it? The roadhouse bathroom was particularly nasty, too. I wonder if it's better as a burned-out husk. Probably. I wonder if I'm better as a burned-out husk. Oh, no, Emily. Emily! Now, now. Everyone's happy you're here. It's pretty touching that you come all the way out here just to see us. Actually, I'm in town Hey, for Pete's a gone. Yeah, my grandma died. Oh, I'm sorry. No, really, it's okay. I don't really feel anything about it. Well, except that I'm a monster for not feeling anything about it. Oh, that's so fucking normal, though. Someone guilting themselves for a feeling has not once ever in human history gotten rid of the feeling. Yeah, so I guess I'm stuck with it. You know, this game has a lot of, it, like, I really like the way mental health is portrayed in this because I also like how the reaction to it is very real, like, Mm -hmm. What Megan just said, like, yeah, guilting yourself about not feeling something never makes it better. Yeah, or guilting yourself about feeling something doesn't yeah. make it better. Yeah. I'm just relieved she's not suffering anymore. Watching her regress to the point that she thought all of us were dead people coming to get her was pretty devastating for my mom. Oof. That dementia. That can happen? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty par for the course with Alz oh, Alzheimer's. Going back to an earlier time in their brain, singing songs from their childhood. There's also a delusion you can have where you think everyone in your life has been replaced with imposters. Cra crap grass disorder or something. Well, that's horrible. Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Guy. It's Nest. Yep. Say, do you have any use for some melted plastic cutlery? Well, that's very specific. Check it out. It's like a rat king of forks and the little plastic swords they st stick cherries with. What a find. I gotta get a picture. Tori's gonna love this. <laughs> hey. Hi, Emily. Megan, what the fuck? She just, like, descended. What, what are you doing here? Where's Pete? A good, a good question. I've never met your friend Pete, and I've met everyone here. I've seen him walking around. Made eye contact with him. But there's nothing there. I don't think he's anyone. If Pete's not Pete, then who the hell... Oh, if Pete's not Pete, then who the hell are you? Also a good question. Har har. You do realize this is a pretty stressful situation for me, right? I'm sorry. I feel a strange energy here myself. There is little I can do to help you now. It may be but small comfort, but if you have any questions... I will do my best to shine a light in the dark. Jesus Christ, can you talk normal? I'll try. Uh... Okay. Oh, I mean, what is, if he's gonna... Yeah. What is be the, a little granular, what sure. What is the accumulator supposed to do? It's supposed to channel life energy to assist in the reassembly of matter. It's meant to improve your vitality and lifespan. In reality, it's a cheap wooden box and general fire hazard I used to do drugs in. Yeah. But here, it's not the box that I built. It's actually powerful. And it has nothing to do with me. Uh, what is the creature with the knife? What is that thing? The thing with the knife? I don't know. I used to feel oddly proud of it. I thought I created it. That it was the only thing I've ever created. Now I'm afraid that might not even be true. I've got nothing to show for all this. My life. Just a house that's fallen apart with dead people inside. 
you would you would want that as a legacy it's more than nothing at least it would be proof that i was here but i know that it isn't true even if it was what's the point all a big mistake big coincidence small little man stupid uh huh why can't i talk to the others i mean I can't talk to them. I can talk to them about pizza and video games and shit. Just not the time loop we're trapped in. Or the slasher movie villain that keeps killing us. I have no idea. When I approached you at the gas station, I found myself unable to speak in anything but poetry. I thought that was just how you always talk. Oh, I thought... I know. I, I thought that was how you just... That was just how you always talk. Then, sometime later, I found myself able to express myself fully. Almost as if we had gained some kind of understanding. Or maybe I just lost all respect for you? Okay. What happens to us when this ends? If this ends? Are you even still alive? I don't see why I wouldn't be. <laughs> I've, I've had enough of this. Alright, I've had enough of this. Bye, Nest. Bye, weirdo. Um, M. Want one? You know I quit, Cliff. Good girl. Good girl. What? When? I thought you were, you were here to burn one with me like we used to. I can't just come over here to enjoy... I can't just come over here to enjoy your company? No. You're, you oh. are Gary. So, the owner probably burned it down, right? For the insurance money? Guys, is Megan seeing someone? What? Oh, Tori? Th that was a weird non sequitur. I know, yeah. right? Wow, never thought I, I would see the day. They've been engaged for like two years. Whoa! What? Hey, gang. What are you all talking about? Oh, just how Emily doesn't know shit about her friends. Hey, fuck you, Cliff. Shut the hell up, Cliff. Nice. <laughs> hey, Cliff, Emily showed me this awesome melted cutlery rack king. Want to see it? Oh, yeah, that'll go great with my melted red plastic Italian restaurant cup. See ya, Em. Later, Gare Bear. Do you think we could get sick from hanging around here? Like, the burned rubble is putting stuff in our body that will kill us someday when we're not expecting it? Gary! Like, like Cliff's cigarettes? Gary! I'm start, you know, I was starting to wonder if each of her friends represents some sort of um, issue with, like, OCD or an anxiety. Because, like, Gary seems to have all these really random intrusive thoughts. And, yeah. And Cliff is this, like, big negative sort of, uh, you know, Debbie Downer, like, fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if all of her friends are just representations of all these, these issues she's facing. Also, I'm wondering what happened to Gary's shoes. It's not just me, right? He's sitting in this parking lot in his socks. The, yep, the, he's in socks. Okay. Gary, what happened to your fucking shoes? Well, <laughs> I spent every day expecting to drop dead of a mysterious and preventable illness. It would be pretty funny if I contracted it from a fiberglass hot dog. Yeah, if I'm going to die, it at least needs to be funny. I mean, my life's a joke anyway. Jesus, Gary! Wow. Everyone here needs therapy. It needs a good punchline to make it all worth it. Gary, you're sounding a little too much like me. Are you all right? Sure, it's fine. My head kind of hurts. Behind my eyes. I'm going to go look at that pile of menus and figure out what I would have ordered. Gary. That's fucking depressing. Gary. Gary. Buddy. My friend. Pal. Muchacho. My dude. My bro. Go find your shoes. There is a lot happening here. There sure is. Yeah, see the Stussy on the on the hot dog? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, that sounded like a tension headache. Hillary's right. At least nobody took a tumble from the hot dog, huh? Hey, Francine. Uh, 
this i'm desperate to express Ooh. even one thought of my own yes i feel like out of everyone here francine is probably the one she could like break it out to yeah all right let's do that one okay it won't let me are you mad at me i'm really sorry stop i'm not doing this again you're not sorry you're scared of me it can be both. I feel like you're waiting for a chance to tell me I'm wrong. And you're waiting for me to escalate, to catch me in some mistake so you can tell me so. But, Francine, I am dying to fall on that sword. I am dying for you to believe me when I tell you I know how wrong I am. This stuff doesn't work on axes of right and wrong. Oh. Oh. You just have no. that. What? I know you're sorry. You tell everyone that every chance you get. You need to do something. Uh. I don't know. Which one? I, hmm. I wonder if it really matters. Yeah, uh. Yeah, I don't think I bet regardless matter. of what we... Yeah, whatever we pick, she's not going to say it. Yeah. What do you want yep. from me? Who gives a shit what I want from you? People aren't a fucking puzzle you can solve, Emily. Uh... Yeah, it's not... Yeah, that it doesn't matter. You're scary when you cuss. Jiminy, gosh. Oh, hey, Emily, glad you could make it. Your room's down the hall. Is that better? Is that more like the weird retrograde 2D fantasy of me you're looking for? I've been caretaking and planning and organizing and protecting and trying to stop us from tearing ourselves apart. Going... Uh, oh, I hit a button. I'm sorry. It's okay. Now I'm goddamn sick of it, and I know you're hurting, but there's too much inertia for me to stop. So instead, I'm here yelling at you about it. Uh, I like this one. I can tell I'm getting closer to, to, I'm closer to getting through to you than anyone else. Yeah. Nope. I know how this ends. I've seen it happen over and over and over, and I'm done trying to change it, and I refuse to take your sorries about it. And I know exactly how goddamn petty I'm being, and I don't care because I've had an infinite number of nights to stew on this. Um, um. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is what? This is insane. What is that? Look at its little leggies. It's like a, I hate it. It's like a fucking like. Oh no, oh. guys. Oh no! Oh, what is funny. happening? She just went and laid down next to them so it would look like they were chilling. Oh, and now, yeah. Okay. What is, what the fuck was that thing? It looked like a chicken. Like a roast chicken with like really long limbs. That was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Oh, wait, what is, I don't remember, what is this? Examine book. Pumberton Possum. It's a copy of the book I illustrated. Pumberton Possum learns a lot. This wasn't here before. This is a pile of cliff stuff. What's this doing here? Gosh, Emily, what do you think? Do you want to go talk to Cliff? Is he reading my books? Hey, book. Hey, hey, Cliff, are you reading books for babies? Hey, Cliff, you really like me? You bought the book I illustrated? Hey, Cliff. Hey, Cliff, I found a copy of Pumberton Possum on top of your stuff. What's that doing here, huh? It's mine. Whose trash can did you pull that out of? I paid money for it, and I also got one for my mom. She loves it. Oh. That's... Incredibly sweet. I'm struggling to integrate it emotionally. While you're working on that, do you think you'd sign my copy for me? Oh my god. Uh, yes, of course. That's fucking. Pr I'm gonna go sign that it. That was an adorable interaction. Can I, can I talk to him again? Hi, Cliff. Emily, have you gotten a chance to talk to Francine about the homeowner not showing up? Or what? I, I guess she already came up to you about about it in a panic. Uh, no? What happened? When we got to the house yesterday, we were supposed to be let in by Mr. Nest, the guy who owns the place. 
Instead, there was a key in one of those fake rocks in a note. Make yourselves at home. Talk about hospitality, huh? I mean, that's how I prefer my Airbnb experiences. Yeah. Do you know anything about synthesizers? Synthesizers? Nope. Man, that's the kind of thing Megan would know about. Hmm. Uh, Cliff, I heard you actually saw a comet this time. Yeah. It's corny as shit, but when I saw it, my eyes welled up. Uh, was it a big one? It was. It looked like a goddamn cartoon. Everybody else was too distracted to notice it. Honestly, it wasn't the same without you there. Aw. You have a way with these guys. Last night, it would have it would have helped. At times, you could have cut the tension out there with a fucking knife. Um. Because it's been a while since everybody's seen each other. Maybe. I think everybody's aware of how much time has passed and is wondering whether this tradition is worth keeping alive. It is. Yeah. It is. See ya. Uh, yep. Yeah. Honestly, we'd probably still be doing uh, Air D&D if it wasn't for, uh, you know, the world ending, essentially. Yeah, fucking COVID. Can I, can I sign it? Let me sign it. Okay, if Cliff wants it signed, there, I signed it. Aww. Yes. Sweet. Yeah, I really miss Air D and D too. Last time we did it was 2019. Sure was, because uh, 2020 was when the world ended. Yep. I signed your copy of Pumbo Cliff. Thanks. For real. You did a real good job, Em. Your paintings are amazing. That one at the end where all the baby critters are riding to school on Pumberton's mom's back made me tear up. Aww. I just think it's sweet that kids get to read such a fun book and when they're older they'll be nostalgic for the things you drew. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, thanks Big Shot. I'm gonna go sell this on eBay for 50 cents. Oh, don't gouge people. Stop. I'm being nice to you. Let me be nice to you. <laughs> well, just this once. Okay, bye. Okay. Okay, that was a really adorable interaction. We need to go through the, the, the doors now. Yeah, he's the asshole with a heart of gold. Okay, but remember when we started playing this last time, um, they had a hard time getting rid of Nest. Yeah. And Cliff just said that he didn't show up. Yeah. Like, he wasn't here. Yeah, we'll talk to uh, Francine on the next loop. I want to see if I can Okay. get through. Unless you want to go talk to Francine now. No, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Okay. Okay, so now... Oh, I forgot to set the doors. I'm dumb. Yes, she Cliff is... is a softie who likes soft things, and Emily is a cinnamon roll. And cinnamon rolls are traditionally soft. Yes. Don't want a hard cinnamon roll, that's for dang sure. Alright, I gotta find that. There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. Nice. You know, I, I've got a pretty decent memory when it comes to these things. Mm -hmm. Not to, uh, not to pat my own ass too much, but. Alright. So, I always forget how this goes, so. The next thing is gonna be blue and yellow. Oh. Like, don't go, I don't wanna go yet. And then, and then yellow. red, yellow? Yeah, then red, yellow. And then, so I want to go through on red, red and blue. Yeah, because you can go all the way through. Yeah. Okay. We want to actually check to see if there's anything in here. There is. There was something. What was that? And we're dead. No, it's fine. I want to see uh, that, that thing there. Looks like a, a mannequin torso or a hoodie. I want to see if I could. All right. I guess it wasn't important. 
I had to know, though. I remember I wanted to check that room. Yeah. Hi, Pete. We don't need any hints, Pete. We know what we're doing. What's up, Emily? Things have been hard, haven't they? So, Emily, do you want to hear a secret? No. No, no secrets this time. Yep. No. I believe in you. I don't understand you. If you know all this, why won't you just tell me exactly what I need to know? Why won't you just help me out of this mess? I don't know anything you don't know. Think of me like a college professor who's staying one step ahead of their class. I'm making this all up as I go along. I don't know shit. Then neither do I. Thanks, Pete. Bye. Bye, Pete. Bye, Pete. That was, uh, that was great, Pete. Thank you. Mm hmm Okay. Great talking to you, Pete. Always. Always a pleasure. Yep, yep. Okay. Damn it. Uh, it's gonna turn in a second, so. There we go. at the door. Mm hmm Ah. Boom. Boom. Death tunnels now. Mm-hmm. Uh, blue and yellow, then red and yellow. And then we'll go on this because it'll be red and blue. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Me in. I don't want to be like Jimmy. There we go. Okay. So right now it's blue or yellow. This will be red and yellow. And then red and blue will be next, right? Yeah. So we, so we want to do red and blue. Just there we go. Yeah. In case and then swing up here. into yellow. Mm hmm. Yeah, because so we won't we don't get gassed. Yep. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, that's blue. So this will be red and yellow, so there's no chance regardless. It does it makes me think of Zero Escape 2 going through this. Which you still have to definitely play. Oh, I am happy to play. Do you want to? Did you want to play with me, or do yes. you care if I just? No, oh, this is okay. definitely something we want to play. Okay. Okay, blue and yellow. This will. I'll be good to go here. Because I installed it, but then I was like, wait, what if Ant wants to play this with me? No, we should definitely play that okay. on stream. It's perfect for this channel. Okay. And honestly, it's been some some time. It's a visual novel. Like all of them okay. are, but they're they're good, and honestly, our visual no novel things are great, and we could do the voices like always. So, okay, Where'd um, that... so it just let us into the hedge maze, huh? Oh, it's the hedge maze. Not... Oh, um, that sculpture sure is upsetting. Oh Jesus! I just saw it. I missed I'm that. so happy that you didn't see that thing immediately. Holy cow! Oh, Slender Man. doesn't come alive and just stab us. Oh, Oof. no. Oh, that's an angle. I'm going to read this messy letter. Yeah, we are. Clara, do you remember when you pulled me aside after our last performance together? We were both caked in plaster. You were a deer and I had... You were a deer and I had been so unpleasant that day, neurotic and lashing out, and you said... 
Parker, one of these days you need to ask yourself why you need to manufacture a bad guy. And I laughed. I laughed at you. I want to grab that young man by the ears and thrash him. What a petty fool. I could have said this to you. I could have said this to you even once, and I never did. You are not only a genius, but you're an indescribably better emotional being than I am. I have never been more enchanted with the things a person creates. The work we did together felt like puzzle pieces fitting, like fi like finally being able to breathe. I hated my work. I hated my work less than knowing my myriad weaknesses had the honor of existing alongside your strengths. And what did I do with that? Laughed. Sometimes I wish you were here, and I'm sorry. Okay. Damn. Damn. Hey, generator. Hey, generator. Oh, another rejection letter. Ah. Eulogy for the chosen few. Continued. Ace awoke on a cold slab, aching, squinting against the fluorescent light. His skin felt tight and pink, like canvas stretched too far. How it does your skin feel like a color? I don't know. Amazing. There was a block in his memory, a distinct absence of thought. Where the hell am I? Ace shouted, or tried to. It's awake, came, to, came the garbled voice behind him. Ready the instruments. Ace recoiled in horror as the figures approached, silhouetted in the harsh light. Their features became clear as they closed in on him. Their eyes were bulbous and strange, their bodies encased in shimmering suits. It began to dawn on Ace. Damn it, I hit the wrong button again. What had happened after he found those concentric circles in the fields? Aliens! Ooh. Memories began to trickle in. The great lightning from the heavens. The sense of floating upward. Of inner shifting. Of probing tools and ice-cold scalpel cuts. Of that great voice speaking to his soul. Ace caught a glimpse of himself reflected in the chrome of their instruments and gasped. There he saw the face his eyes looked out from. The skin smooth and plastic, the fluttering fringed eyelashes, the cupid lips. My god, what had they done? His chiseled features had been reduced to a facsimile of a baby doll's head. He tried to open his mouth to cry out, and his heart sank as all that came out was the canned wailing of the baby he now was. To whom it may concern, thank you for your submission of eulogy for the chosen few. As ours is a short fiction anthology magazine, we regret to inform you that we are currently uninterested in a manuscript longer than two single page, single page, single space pages. Before submitting again, we suggest you pare your 120 page work down to fit those. Oh Jesus! my God! Jesus, Parker. Sincerely, Calm down, Parker. Muriel Stoward, assistant to the editor, Tales to Terrify, Titillate LLC. My God, Parker. Ooh. Oh, nice generator. Okay. Good thing. There's a shortcut back here, since I'll need to do it again to power the whole thing up. And then there is the 909009. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now we know the code. Yep. I do not like that statue. That statue is extremely unpleasant. That Yeah, I probably can't. We need to open that door from the other side. Yeah. Bye, Slenderman. Okay, so... Oh, I heard somebody die. Okay, so what what can I do? Hey, are those did we think about this last time? Are those lights similar to the X's and O's the next Mind to Reaper? the Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's too many, that's right. Oh so yeah, homunculus is definitely uh acting much uh sooner. Yeah, he didn't even wait for the power to go out. I didn't want to go this way. I want to go over here. Okay, so what else do we have to solve here? Maybe now we can... Yeah. Uh, well, we solved the puzzle. doesn't this just takes us back here okay yeah it's just a dead end room all right so what do we have left to solve well we need to get one more generator 
Yeah. So we found the yellow and I guess the blue generator. The blue is in the mall. How do we get? How do we get back to the mall? I don't remember. Um. Through the electrically charged water. We need to go through the garage. Right. Or not through the garage. Excuse me. The through basement. the cellar. The cellar. Okay. So we got to do all this in one one go then. Yeah. Or do we just need to find the just two generators and then No, there's there's three. Unless it's the power box. Oh. Well no, because one of the cords upstairs in the attic goes directly to the the thing. What thing? The accel accelerator, accumulator, whatever. Oh the lightning um, rod, yeah. Um, yeah. This thing. Right. Oh yeah, because we got to get something to go. Because then we got to do something with the lightning rod. Yeah. So I think we need to turn on the two generators and then come upstairs. Maybe. Um, okay. We, we still don't know what the hell this is. That's also a very good point. Like. Doesn't look like anything we've seen so far. No. Like okay, we know that. Haha, <laughs> four twenty. Yeah. <laughs> want to go out. We got that. Me May oh maybe. Maybe that is why we were asking Cliff about synthesizers. The uh the 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 voice thing. Oh yeah. Oh so we gotta talk to Megan. Yeah we gotta talk to Megan about it. Alright. Um I'm gonna go gas myself because there's not really anything I can do. Okay. Read guest book. Is that the same guest book as upstairs? Maybe. Uh, oh, no. This Nest is... Parker. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. We got those uh, initials, but we didn't... We haven't found anything for them yet. Right. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go get gassed. Because... Oh, no, it's this way. You walked away from the gassing door. Yeah, there you go. go. And just kind of and kind of start the loop over so I can talk to Megan. Yeah. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I want to do the thing. And yeah, I did it. Nice. I love how instantaneous it is. It's wonderful. 